Well, Matthew uh, Joseph is the India Country Director of the American India Foundation. He's with us. Um, Mr. Joseph, great to have you on board. And I'm sure you, it's just fantastic how people are chipping in and helping this cause in the current pandemic. Tell us presently what are AIF's health initiatives? How are you ensuring medical support and awareness as a big priority? AIF has been very quick off the block to support emergency medical needs as soon as the COVID pandemic hit India. We responded to government requests from 16 states. And over the last two months, we have supported several COVID designated hospitals with life-saving equipment like ventilators and PPE used by doctors, nurses, and frontline personnel who handle COVID cases. We've also responded to the health and protective needs of migrant workers uh, in their shelters during the lockdown period uh, by providing hygiene kits to them, which contain face masks, sanitizers, soap, sanitary pads, and all the small things, but important things that people needed at the time. As we speak, we have programs that are reaching slums with doctors, nurses, and volunteers who are going door to door and spreading awareness of the measures people need to take to, uh, to avoid infections. And what are your efforts in the areas where migrant workers have returned to? How, what are you doing to reach out to them? We have been working in states like Uttarakhand, Jharkhand, Orissa, and the coastal areas of Northern Andhra uh, on a program called MANSI, which stands for Maternal and Newborn Survival Initiative. Based on the encouraging results from a pilot study, the government of Jharkhand had requested us to scale up the program, which we, which we did. And now we are confident of reducing preventable newborn mortality by up to 50% in these areas. So as soon as the pandemic reached India and the lockdown began, we and our partners started training ASHAs in the Mansi geography using technology that were available, uh, especially phone-based apps uh, with relevant information, do's and don'ts uh, as they go into the community. We also supplied them with masks and face shields so that they stay safe uh, while they go out to spread awareness on the precautions that households in the villages need to take.